What's up, gentlemen? How's it going? Good, good. Well, How are you doing? Might we get a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bust them out. All right, for everybody getting on Sam's ass about, can I say that? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, for everybody yeah. getting on Sam's ass about the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm going to put him on the Cinnamon Swirl Crunch protein bar. All right, so y'all can lay, lay off of them. Lay off. We're going to get them eating right. I already got them eating carrots and That's rice That's and fast. chicken and turkey, all that good stuff. So, yeah, we're on the right track. We will get him on a bodybuilding stage, I promise you. I'll do you one better. That's the what flavor is that one? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You take you the, the cinnamon cookie flavor that we got. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Take that and make heard, it, put it in a ninja yes. creamy. I, I, was letting, I was letting the fans know that we're going to get you eating the Cinnamon Toast Crunch protein bars. No. Every now he likes his box. Bro, are we gonna, we're gonna, you like the I box? Don't, I don't mind this. I like the box. There's you like cereal, box? You gotta remember, there's a cereal bar made of just like congealed cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That one's fire. Oh my gosh. You ever had a Ninja Creamy? Never. I put, uh, I took the, our cookie protein. The creamy and I took and the Ninja Creamy, like a protein ice cream. Oh. I cut that up and then I took like a cup of the uh, cinnamon toast crunch and I put that in there. You can mix it in. Oof. Horny. It's fucking life changing. A lot of good ideas being thrown around here. But all about food. It's, we're here. For, we're here to train. What are we, what are we starting with? Yeah. Oh, I'm warming up on this. We're gonna do a salmon Nick re, uh, cooking video. We're gonna do recipes. Yeah, it's gonna be a hostile recipe book. Count below what you cook, what you want in there. They do arms kind of quick. Well, for, okay, they're doing arms, not shoulders. Yeah. No, no, no. We can do arms first and then get shoulders. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But okay, so quick. Maybe go back and forth. Like a few sets of triceps, few biceps back and forth. Shouldn't take that long. Alright, so uh, I guess this is more directed at any beginners. Anybody who's a real veteran lifter, they already know this. But when you're warming up, you know, try to conserve energy. I'm not gonna sit here and do like five warm-up sets, so like 20 reps. I'm just getting exposed to the weight. I'll gradually, you know, go heavier and heavier until I'm at a weight I'm comfortable with for the first working sets, and then just go from there. But one thing with arms, I gotta warm up my forearms too. Like I'm not a, I don't have like tendonitis or anything, but I can tell if I jump straight into like a 50 pound curl out of nowhere, I'll feel a little tender in here. I gotta get some blood flowing. I'm, I'm already warmed up. Lead. I'm warmed up. Um, so I did like two, three warm sets, easy. Um, buy some triceps. So we got time crunch today. So I'm gonna be hit, we're gonna be hitting this uh, arm curl um, and then supersetting it with uh, tricep extensions. Um, so we're gonna be doing probably two, three top sets here. Um, just supersetting bicep, triceps right now. Usually when I'm training biceps, triceps, I'll do all triceps first and then biceps. Um, I do a lot of single arm work, um, just stuff that feels good. I can really um, isolate the tricep and the bicep. But today we're gonna be doing all um, uh, bilateral work. Um, one, I honestly, I like bilateral work. Um, I sometimes get annoyed of doing a lot of single arm shit. So sometimes I want to just grab a barbell and fucking curl. Um, sometimes I just want to like go to a, um, a bench and do close grip bench and stuff. So um, those things all have a time and a place. But uh, typically, you know, when I want to, when I'm doing arms, what's on my program, it's all out of single arm. But I get sick of it sometimes. So I'll just fucking hammer some heavy stuff out, heavy hammers, grip and rip it once in a while. So today's kind of one of those workouts, but I'm gonna do a top sit on here and then uh, get ripping with the rest of the workout. Too heavy there. Yeah. So I only got like nine reps. But anyway, we're going heavy on this first one. With this preacher, I uh, 
I feel kind of funky doing both arms at once. It's kind of locking my system up or whatever, so I'll just do one at a time. Still kind of easing in with push downs, but the weight on a stack like this, where there's no extra fancy pulleys or whatever, this is a stack where that's actually pretty heavy. So I don't know if we'll even get all the way to the top. Machines like this, or like stacks like this, I prefer. It sucks when the, if anybody can just hit the stack. Honestly, I want a gym with stacks that go up to like 600 pounds that nobody could ever use might just uh, kill some people's egos. What is next? We're thinking rope hammer curls supersetted into overhead tricep extensions. I think this is just the right height. You gotta, you gotta test it out. Want me to hit it? Well, it's like a feeler. See if it's okay. if that makes sense. Right. Good. Come on, that's just light. Move it. An arm right there. I'm trying to keep up with this man. It's rough, but we'll make it happen. Yeah, grab him. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But but for now you're, you're the go camera, from man. <laughs> hitting a set to supersetting it with pictures. There you go, buddy. Oh, thanks. You got it. There you go. Good. There you go. 
Good, come on. There you go, Sam. Come on, let's work. Good. Come on, all the way out, lock it out. Good. Come on, five, four, three, let's go. Two, one, give me some partial. There you go, good. Three, two, finish. Very good long head stretch. We got the ESN team over there, but Hostile's taking over. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Good. Good, come on. There we go, finish. Yep. 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 Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Fucking pumped. Yeah, okay, I know. I don't know how you just low on food today. Uh, this is gonna work out so far. Let's go, Sam. Bust him out, bust him out. Come on. Good. Let's go. Six, five, four, come on. Three, two, let's go. Finish, finish. Money. Parcels. Five, Money. four, come on, squeeze. Three, two, last one. Work. Up. Good. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, good yeah. shit, bro. That was a good choice. I think we don't use this one, but I like this one. Oh. I guess I'm gonna wash my clothes on those fucking washboard quads, dude. Jesus. Alright, Sam, let's go. Oh, you already hit that? Good. Oh. Come on. Good. There we go. Come on. Let's go, Nick. Work. Work. I got you. I got you. All the way out. Lock it. Let's go. Two more just like that. Come on. One more. One more. One more. All the way out. Five partials. Let's go. Five partials. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good. Finish. Oh, I'm wearing parcels. Those are fucking well, like, sh yeah. shoulder extender, little mini, mini pullovers. I was freaking gas there. All right, so two sets here on hammers and this. Do some crossbody tricep extensions on a cable machine, and then uh, what are we doing? That with single bar preacher or easy bar? Yeah, easy bar preacher. That, and uh, then from there we'll probably move on to. Bice or shoulders. So like right now we've been here for a total like what 30 minutes? Maybe. Maybe 30 minutes. We're almost done. So we're just going back to back. More of like a moderate volume workout, I guess. But so uh yeah. I mean time crunch. We got dinner tonight, like we said. But uh I don't know, somebody I find that these workouts when you got a time crunch are some of the best ones, you know? So it's like you you're not on your phone. I hate being on my fucking phone um, when I'm training. I had to respond to no text. I put that shit on. Do not disturb. But it's like, you're creative with your workouts. You're going back to back. Yeah, other people kind of holding you accountable. Like, yo, let's get our shit moving. Um, because we want to go have dinner and uh, have a good time. We want to get saucy with it. Or, that's a weird word. Cut that part out. Saucy? What the fuck? We want to, when I get, we want to have a, we want to have a good night. So we just want to get out of here and then uh, go eat some good ass food, be with the team, chill with Fuad, maybe race some old fashions with boss man Fuad. Yeah, we'll try to 75. He just said he don't like being on the phone, but you know, I had to get like a, an Instagram story with me and Sam with the juicy arm pump. You're hardly on the phone. You're not on the phone. You're just recording some seriously important information. Yes. Some data, visual data of, of an, the arm pump. Of a nasty pump. 80s. Was, so no, we're not pussies. We wanted to do 75s. So that's the number we had in our mind. There are no 75s. There's 70s and 80s. And of course, we're going to go up. So 80s it is. If you go 70s, 
and you get more than 10 reps, that's considered cardio. But if you go 80s and you have some assisted reps, then that's just extra gains on top. So we don't want to do cardio because then we'll be losing muscle. But if we go heavy and we get some assisted reps, then we'll be technically gaining muscle on top of that. I like this sentiment. Sometimes I do do higher rep sets, but the main idea is you can go as heavy as possible. Serious muscle. That's a, I feel that's like that me might and, be too much muscle pounds. for the YouTube. That, that might that might get demonetized. <laughs> I haven't had to worry about that yet. Yeah. There we oh, go. Yeah. Good. I was gonna say get on the side, but you get the good thumbnail. Oh, I'll yeah. get I'll get a pick after. Good. Yeah, picture. Good. On, there we go, Sam. Come on, let's work. On, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Let's go. Good. Give me another. I got you. There we go. I'm just helping in the bottom. All you. Give me two. Good. Give me one. Good. And one. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Good. Come Good. on. Hold it slow. Good. Now. Slow, motherfucker. Oh my God. Got it. Set, ouch! Ouch! Huh? I said I didn't hear anything. God damn it, Sam. No, I fuck, uh, the, the slant on this creature. Yeah. Usually I do them like on the vertical side. So this is gonna be freaking, this is gonna be nuts. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake, let's go. Nice! Good Still you, come on. Good. Come on. Nice. Good. Nice. Yep. Got it. I got it. Getting flashbacks. Some serious damage went down right here. Come on. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Still you. Come on. Get up. Nice. Yep. Let's go, Sam. Come on. Come on. Squeeze it. Nice job. Still want the 80 grit? You want to drop? Oh. Oh, okay. That's enough there. I'll All see right. That. I think 90 might have been a better choice. So as my workout progresses, there's kind of the initial to mid set range, like first few, where like if I kind of had to describe my training style, I like heavier sets, like what I think in a bro sciencey way is like doing damage, whatever, tearing down tissues, whether or not that's true, whatever. But at the end of the lift, really I'm just trying to, you know, get as pumped as possible. So even though this set wasn't necessarily to failure, 
using the light weight like that and just really squeeze it hard. I mean, it's to the point where I can like, it's hard for me to even reach up and like pause my music. So I think it's a good finisher. All right, so Jacob and Nick are moving on to shoulders, but I'm not saying my, like, honestly, Jacob's shoulders are freaking crazy, but he's got arms to match. So for me, I kind of want to put a pause on my shoulder development and let my arms catch up. Because if you sort of look at it in a little bit of like an abstract way, if you were to draw somebody doing like a double by, like a back double biceps pose, you could sort of look at the shoulders as being like spheres, like a circle. And then same thing with your arms, like biceps through the top half and triceps through the bottom half. So if they're too out of whack, like if your arms are way bigger than your shoulders, your shoulders are kind of, they're going to stick out for being behind. And then other way around too, if your shoulders are way bigger than your arms, it's pretty easy to notice. Now that could just be personal preference, but I kind of want to, I want them to get to the point where my shoulders and arms are pretty much about the same roundness. If, well, I wouldn't mind if my arms were even a little bit bigger. So shoulders is the one muscle, which for me doesn't get trained consistently. I'll throw it in every so often just because I like a shoulder pump. But, you know, if you got a really strong point or even, you know, a muscle group on your frame, which is, you know, a few leaps ahead of everything else, I don't mind skipping it and focusing on bringing up your weak points. Because whether you're, you know, 250 pounds or 180 pounds, if you have something like that, if you kind of back off on it and hit everything else, you should sort of start to approach more of an even build. But if you love having big ass shoulders and you don't want your arms to match, then spam lateral raises all day. But that's probably a niche group of lifters. So Sam doesn't do shoulders because the shoulders are big enough. So it's just you. So you're telling me those big ass delts don't do shoulders. You know, I saw him doing lateral raises and I, I feel like I'm missing out. Now I want a little shoulder pump. There you go, there you go. Man, look, we're only sticking with the 20s and 25s. We don't lift too heavy. Wait, that means that you influenced Sam. Really? I influenced if, an influencer? If he's doing it. Ooh, right? I like that. See, though, we stay in kind of light, stay in kind of light. We don't want to injure the man. Also, it's not about how much weight you can lift. It's about how well you can lift that much weight. Guess what I'm looking at? I'm trying to be photogenic here, just because I know that you gave me shit.
I'm not moving. Is that front double again, eh? Ha, ha, ha.